Hi guys, welcome back to another college video. Today we're reading not one but two sets of college essays. That's right, this is a collab video and with another international student going to Caltech. Since we're going to be reading some of our STEM experience essays, um, this video sort of doubles up to give you an idea of both the kind of writing and the kind of ECs Caltech is likely to appreciate. Okay, let's start with introductions. Hi everyone, my name is Pranay Satya and I'm an Indian student who was recently admitted to Caltech. I applied to Caltech in the early admission, um, in the early admission round in November 2019, and as of now my intended major is bioengineering. I'm Nishka, I applied to Caltech in the RD round and my intended major is computer science. Since our interests and majors are fairly varied, I thought it would be more helpful and interesting for you to watch and more fun for me to make if I collab with a fellow techer. As a part of the Caltech Supplemental Essays, we submit three 120-word essays that describe STEM experiences that, we, that have had the most influence on our lives. The prompt for this is, describe three experiences and or activities that have helped develop your passion for a possible career in the STEM field. Your response for each experience or activity should range between 10 to 120 words. In my opinion, these are some of the most straightforward and easy essays that you will see throughout the entire college admissions process. They do not ask you to be very creative, they are just very straightforward, and that's part, that's part of why I like them so much. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So as you'll see over this video, most of my STEM experiences were focused around research activities and programs that I had gone through during high school. Um, I mainly use these to showcase my love for scientific research and STEM particularly. Um, so yeah, I will just begin reading out my first essay. This was about a research experience that I had towards the senior year of high school. Um, at the Center for Cellular, Cellular and Molecular Biology, over six months I worked on testing the growth inhibition effects of a prototype anti-cancer molecule on chronic myeloid leukemia cells as part of a preclinical drug discovery trial. Through this experience, I strengthened my knowledge in biology and got a deeper appreciation for the integration of principles of physics and chemistry into biological research. I understood various concepts like how electrostatic forces and oxidation potentials influence the binding of inhibitors and protein molecules together. As my project's principal investigator eloquently stated, biology is just a fancy word for the application of every other science. The hands-on experience makes me truly passionate about research in the integrated of fields of STEM in the future. So as you can see, I very briefly described what I had done, but may also focused on the takeaways from it. You only have 120 words, so you don't actually have a lot of space to elaborate on particular technical aspects, but I do think it's important to showcase them in there. Don't be afraid to use technical names or vernacular that might, or vernacular that might not be the most familiar to a non-specific uh, audience. My first essay is actually about my IB extended essay, which there will definitely be more videos on soon. In this essay, I showcase my appreciation for math and how I explored its potential in other fields, such as, well, political redistricting. Okay, I'll start reading my first essay. A Vox video about the political problem of bias redistricting was the last place I expected to find a topic for my IB extended essay. But as the narrator explained the need for a non-partisan method to identify a state as gerrymandered, I turned to the most unbiased field I knew, math. Comparing the problem of differentiating between the shapes of the states to a question regarding the convexity of polygons I had seen in Paul Zayas's Art and Craft of Problem Solving, I began to look for ways to define the convexity of a state's shape. It was thrilling to be able to investigate and solve a societal issue using concepts from a diverse range of disciplines. I kept it really simple and focused mainly on the sheer awe I feel towards STEM rather than going too much into the detail of what I actually did. I refer to a book called Paul Zeitz's Art and Craft of Problem Solving in this essay. If you want a deeper introduction to what the book is about, be sure to check out my last video. I'll move on to my second essay. This second essay was about a, uh, a summer program that I had attended at Yale University um, in my junior year summer. 
Um, so at the Yale Young Global Scholars Program in Biological and Biomedical Sciences, I attended various seminars and lectures in fields such as immunology, biochemistry, neuroscience, and molecular biology. I also worked with a team to use Arduino controllers to make a motion sensor like those used with patients in Parkin with Parkinson's disease. Um, I also shadowed in the PET scan lab at the Yale Hospital, which, used radi which uses radioisotopes for tracers to diagnose different types of cancers. In my capstone project, I delved into the applications of 3D printing to build extracellular matrices and replicate tissue structures for synthetic organs using hydrogel and induced pluripotent stem cells. The ideas of using multiple fields of engineering and sciences to improve lives and further healthcare deeply motivates me towards a, a STEM career. So yeah, just a very simple summary of what I had done, what I had learned, and what and how that's influenced me going forward. My second essay is about an application I developed, which is actually available on the Chrome Web Store right now, called QED. This sort of showcased my ability to solve problems using what's available to me and use ordinary experiences from my daily life to be a better computer scientist. Okay, now I'll read my second essay. A pressing challenge while developing QED, a Chrome extension to quiz online learners, was identifying the parts of the video which were to be tested. After racking my brain, I recalled that news apps often summarize key parts of an article for push notifications. I trained a neural network on a data set of news articles and their summaries to highlight the pertinent parts of the video. The idea that knowledge has no borders and ideas can't be confined within neat little boxes is fascinating to me. It is this power of knowledge to ripple out and apply itself in unforeseen and counterintuitive ways that fuels me to learn as well as to create. Again, my focus here is on knowledge in general and how unbounded and exciting it is. How I took something ordinary such as a news app notification algorithm and found a way to make it meaningful and helpful to others. Um, for my final essay, this was again about a research uh, project and internship that I had done. I sort of uh, cheated on this essay where I combined two related projects and basically talked about how I had used the skills from one to supplement my learnings in the other. Um, so yeah, at the Center for Computational Natural Sciences and Bioinformatics at IIIT Hyderabad, um, I uh, worked with a professor on simulation techniques for biomolecules. Using Gromax software, I investigated energy changes when proteins undergo post-translational modifications like glycosylation. Visualizing the fundamental building blocks of biology through computer simulations prepared me well for my subsequent internship at a pharmaceutical company. There I delved into the field of generic drugs, biosimilars, and the ch chemical kinetics of drug delivery mechanisms. I saw how the simulation tools I had previously worked with at the university were used to model receptor changes and, uh, receptor, changes and uh, receptor model complexes in the body for targeted therapies and medications. These two experiences gave me a deeper appreciation for the integration of various research fields and the application of fundamental sciences. So just to sort of recap my advice, these were not the most um, fancy activities that I've seen. I treated these uh, questions uh, almost like resume questions and just answered them very straightforward. My third essay is about a math club that I started at my school, about how I like simplifying math through analogies and experiences and make it as lovable to others as it is to me. Okay, I'll read my third essay. I've often found that advanced mathematical concepts, much like scientific theories, are better understood through analogies. In designing the curriculum for my math club, I pushed my creativity to simplify difficult concepts into tangible learning experiences. While developing the lesson on Mobius strips, I struggled to find a way to build an intuitive understanding of such a curious mathematical shape. I found my answer at the airport, seeing how a conveyor belt could be compared to it, visualizing it as a shape that allows equal wear and tear on either side. Over the years, creating math lessons became a consuming part of my everyday life, deepening my understanding while kindling the love for math in a new generation of learners. I think what was important to me in my STEM experiences in general was to show how math and technology pervade my day-to-day -day life, how everywhere I look and everything I do is tinted with a bit of STEM. 
Um, like a lot of other college essays, these do not require flair or uh, creativity, as I said before. Uh, my advice would be just um, approach them very clearly. Again, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to include any technical terms or, um, or details that will enhance the uh, STEM experience itself and just have fun with them. Choose what was the most meaningful to you over the course of high school and really try to make that passion shine. So yeah, that's my advice and my three Caltech STEM essays. However you choose to write your STEM essays, make sure they're your own and they honestly reflect your love for STEM. I actually wrote my STEM experiences in a span of 30 to 40 minutes. Uh, they were very last minute and I think that's what made them special and unique to me. So don't overthink it, read the prompt, be honest to yourself. And this will probably be the easiest thing you write this college season. Thank you to Pranay for agreeing to collab and being so willing to share his essays with you all. Uh, we really hope you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching, like, subscribe, comment, share to support this channel.